buy them in bulk. Oh, okay. Hit him! No point trapping! We be zapping! One of the things that I always loved about these movies is that they're, they are a mix of a few different genres and the situations are scary and even some of the effects and everything else are kind of scary. Um, but they were always funny and ultimately at the end of the day they were comedic. Hey, hey, hey. How's, how's your summer looking? How, how do you feel? Oh, don't, don't go up there. How's it going? Uh, terrible. Well, don't worry, man. Just keep practicing. We got your back. So this Ghostbusters movie is about the Spengler family. It's kind of a continuation of Afterlife. They've since moved to New York City to start a family business of Ghostbusting, and they've moved into the firehouse from the original Ghostbusters. Um, yeah, and they're just uh, trying to kind of make ends meet. She's just that, like it feels like that's kind of rising up into something. And then so when you're looking at her, yeah. you feel like you're actually on the verge of an eruption. Yeah. Get ready. The original Ghostbusters, they're so cool. I'll never get over how cool it is to be in a Ghostbusters film. It's it's still so weird. It's so fun getting to put on a proton pack or, or a flight suit. It's the coolest thing in the world. And, and getting to work with the original guys is always such a dream, but they're, they're so nice. They're so nice and fun. And getting to see them work together after like all of these years is, is really magical. Well, you can see I'm winning though, right? Yeah, just so everybody knows I'm bad. Ow. Be Uh oh. Well, they look pretty scary. They make this stuff look scarier and scarier all the time now. So I think they should they should be uh, good and scary. I'm I think if I were looking at the the pre-made video you know, the, the sketching stuff of it, but more often I'd probably be sleeping poorly because it's, it's, it's creepy. One of my favorite sequences in the movie is the opening. In the opening scene, the Spangler family is chasing a sewer dragon through the streets of New York down by the Brooklyn Bridge, um, a terrible place to stop traffic. Well, New York is a terrible place to stop traffic. We're tearing through the city and we're chasing this giant beast who's, who's popping up all these sewer covers. And what I love is the juxtaposition between the chaos that's happening outside and then the sort of mundane family dynamics that are happening inside the car. He's a very formidable enemy, and he freezes everything in his touch. He, people, they, he, he, he scares them to death. He can feel the cold going through them. And so uh, to fight him is challenging. And he also can amass all of the ghosts um, to fight on his side, even ghosts that don't want to. He can, it's almost like he hypnotizes them. Okay, so we're going to show you how Exciting! Fire! It's pretty high stakes with Garaka. I mean, this guy is in New York where there are so many people and He's already taken this summer, one, like hot, hot day to complete 
ice and, and freezing over everything, and he's come back to unleash this army of the dead. Very high stakes for everyone because the universe will freeze over and, and all life will be, you know, will cease to exist. And so it's this sort of very fun and, and, and entertaining and also scary last kind of act. The OGs, uh, Dr. Peter Vinkman, Winston Zeddemore, Ray Stantz, uh, and Janine Melnitz, uh, they are part of the fabric of a Ghostbusters version of New York City. Uh, we really wouldn't be doing our job properly if we kept them on the sidelines for this story. Um, but it was also because this firehouse where the new generation of Spanglers are living, this was the Ghostbusters uh, headquarters. They know the ropes to this place. They are who we imagine when we first picture that firehouse. The Ghostbusters are finished. Right. Well, overruled. Sustained. Thank you. I play uh, a sort of occult librarian in the New York Public Library who knows a lot about, you know, uh, paranormal uh, stuff. In theory, he, he reads about it, and it's really fun to play someone who uh, has a lot of uh, knowledge in his head uh, and has never really experienced this stuff head on and then watch them actually get to experience it head on. Like literally scared to death? <laughs> so cool. What's really kind of cool is we're with a, a new generation and I love that aspect because, you know, the original film it was this us, but now it's a bigger group. You are a public relations dream come true. <laughs> For me, being a part of Ghostbusters and part of it, it's, you know, it's wild. I, you know, I've, most of my life I've grown up and I know about Ghostbusters. I saw the movie when it came out in the theater more than once. Um, to be in these scenes with them and, you know, it's a, saying like, uh, hearing, oh, Ray, you know, and like, and they're playing those parts in the firehouse. Um, it's it's super cool. If you come into contact with Garaka, you have the death chill, and you just basically your whole body freezes. It's really terrifying if you think of freezing to death like that, and maybe like cracking into a million pieces. And that's what he's prepared to do to everyone. We're the Ghostbusters. Can I tell you something else? What? Buster makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. The scale of this film is a, a lot bigger, I would say, than Afterlife. That film was sort of set in a small town. This is like Manhattan. New York, huge sets, um, and yeah, it's sort of like just bigger, like this bigger action adventure film. It just makes sense if you're gonna make a Ghostbusters movie that you're, you're gonna bring the best comedians you can to the party. Um, it, it makes our job as storytellers that much easier. Uh, it also means that you have characters that can sort of enter the ring with some of the great comic legends of our time, like Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, uh, Annie Potts. Let's get to work. Can I be of any help? Melnitz in uniform, yeah. I will say that the people playing this, this different generation, they are nice people. They're really nice and they're fun. They're good, they're not, there's not one of them that isn't, uh -uh. isn't they're, they're talented so awesome. and, and isn't yeah. fun too. And so the kids they, are just great. They got that, but they're not as much fun as we are. You know that, come on. We're having good. more fun. So we're here, not just as performers, but as educators, really, that's what we do. Ghostbusters meant to me, uh, they actually made a, a, a perfect, blending of horror and comedy. The, the the scary stuff was genuinely scary and the comedy was hilarious. And to switch back and forth between those two modes so seamlessly, that's really hard to pull off and, and they did it. <laughs> it's exciting and new um, in, in ways that expand the world and don't 
uh, diminish from the legacy of what it is, and um, and that they you know have a, a good time and that they do find it funny, and that they do find it a little scary 